The confrontation with the austerity policies that are now implemented by uh, Syriza is reaching a climax. Uh, today, for example, there is no transportation in Greece. Uh, all the metro and buses are not moving as workers strike to oppose the selling off uh, of public transportation. Uh, also on strike are uh, seamen. There are no boats leaving the ports. Uh, and uh, workers at the port of Piraeus have been uh, uh, on a series of 48-hour uh, strikes uh, against the privatization of the port. Cathy uh, Merini, the conservative newspaper of the ruling class um, in Greece, recently published an article saying that since 2008, there have been on average five strike, uh, five work stoppages, or five labor demos per day. This is, paints a very different picture, you know, one that we should not be so pessimistic. Um, uh, while I was in Athens, I, I worked with Kerfa, uh, the movement against racism and the fascist threat. Uh, one of the things I would do while I was working for Kerfa uh, was do work within the labor unions on a campaign to open the border uh, for refugees and migrants and for the fence at the border uh, with Turkey uh, at the Everest River. The previous government erected a fence that forces refugees to cross through the Aegean Sea, and that's how we see all the drownings that we see. So there was a campaign to break down the fence. Um, and workers in Greece understand that the fight against austerity and solidarity with refugees and, and migrants is, uh, is a, a one, one fight, really, one common struggle. Increasingly, refugees and migrants are joining demonstrations. Uh, it is very often the case that like you will see in demonstrations in uh, Athens, uh, Syrians with a banner. Uh, it's not exactly a stretch for people who uh, started a revolution in Syria to understand what the stakes are in Greece. Um, and uh, in a recent poll in the Syriza newspaper, more than 60% said that refugees should be given uh, decent housing. And some, uh, almost 50% supported giving work permits for those who wanted to stay in Greece. Uh, this while Syriza is shamelessly implementing the EU-Turkey agreement of deport deporting refugees back to Turkey. The balance of what we call class struggle is tipping heavily to the left in Greece at the moment. It is of tremendous importance that in a country battered by the EU austerity, that fascists and racists cannot use the refugee crisis to make any gains. Not only is this, this most telling of the deeply radicalized working class where internationalism is as breathe, natural as breathing air, but Greece stands as an example of what the uh, successful anti-racist and anti-fascist movement in Europe can actually, um, has succeeded. Uh, it, has, it was the constant and persistent intervention of groups like CAREFA that blocked repeatedly Golden Dawn from holding public events. It was the intervention of the anti-capitalist left that brought the most advanced workers out in the midst of the anti-racist movement. One example is Penen, the Siemens Union. Um, the Siemens Union has consistently come out uh, in anti-fascist demonstrations in the city of Piraeus uh, with a banner. At the port itself, the same union has held refugee solidarity actions with Andarcia, including bringing of doctors, uh, to the port to provide urgently uh, needed health care. Um, so lastly, I wanted to say that uh, there are tectonic shifts happening in Greece um, where the radical, radical left is making gains in the labor unions. Um, the Communist Party and Syriza are slowly losing influence. Um, examples of that is uh, at one hospital called Ayo Savas in Athens. Uh, the president of the union is a member of the uh, anti-capitalist left, uh, Andarcia. Uh, doctors and hospital workers unions, again, this is the picture overall, anti-capitalist left and radical left. Uh, um, the radical left is making gains at the expense of the traditional left. Um, yet the situation uh, in Greece is actually very tragic and devastating on the ground. Uh, uh, but the fights are ahead of us, and we are better placed to lead them uh, in, a in a victorious end. And uh, I think that is something that we need to keep in mind uh, with the failure of the, uh, the Syriza uh, government. Uh, and Syriza adopting the austerity policies and implementing them. 
And at this point, I would like to ask you for uh, to make a donation to CAREFA, the United Against Fascism and the Racist Racism and the Fascist Threat. The website was hacked. This website probably was hacked by the state or by some, uh, you know, the deep state uh, connections uh, that the Greek state has. Um, this website is uh, central in in uh, way that the anti-fascist and anti-racist movement shares news and information about events. But aside from this, there is an urgent need for funds to pay for the three full-timers who are doing this uh, tremendously important work. So if you would like to make a donation to CAREFA, see me after the discussion here. Yeah.